right, folks. I'll be doing something. I don't know. I guess it's, it's kind of pointless, but kind of isn't. Uh, gonna try to start the uh, Bronco here. Uh, I believe it's been two years since it's last been run. I don't know. But we're gonna be getting the new washer and dryer soon, and yeah, this is in the way, so I gotta get it out. To get a wash and dryer through the garage into the house and then shove her back in here in hibernation. But I've been itching to do something with one of these two rigs, so I'm gonna take uh, take advantage. Now I already did some poking around. It was a little on quant. And uh, honestly, it looks like someone put washer fluid in the coolant reservoir. So, it wasn't me. I'm not worried about it. But, uh, I already put a half gallon in it of the mixed, and it brought it almost to the top. So, I had that laying around for who knows how long. Another jug of concentrate. We shall top it off the rest of the way. And try not to spill nothing. Oh, well, she's low though. She's taking that much. I have a feeling when we start it, it's going to suck most of that back in there. Of course, this is a big radiator, too. That'll be good enough for now. We'll see what happens when we start it. We'll check it afterwards. Alright, so next order of business is Find a paper towel first off. Check the earl. Dipstick is chiseled. Uh, it's right at the bottom, so I'll throw a touch of oil in it after I pour that other thing in it. completely frank who knows if it's even the right dipstick for this thing this poor unit poor Bronco one day it'll be golden again pretty 
God, the sludge. So I got the uh, zinc additive because just to be extra safe. So what I'm going to do is I'm put checking the oil and all that fun stuff. I'm going to pull all the spark plugs because I don't want to fry this engine. So I'm adding the zinc. I'm going to pull all the spark plugs, crank it over with the ignition off or unplugged or however I'm going to do it. I don't know yet. And uh, yeah. Fifteen minutes. I get some. I think I got some five thirty right here somewhere. I know I got ten thirty. Pull up. A little bit of ten thirty here. Pour a little bit in there. And uh let that shit sit while oh, I do everything else. I got those all numbered. Got all the plug wires numbered. And now I'm just gonna Start pulling plugs. Start pulling They could use some fresh spark plugs. It's not good one today though. Sure 
sure which new cars are this easy to work on, huh? Oh, but anyway, I don't believe I told you what I was doing. I'm going to pull all the plugs and crank it with the plugs out. That way there's no resistance or very little resistance. And uh, so we can build oil pressure. And then I'll slap the plugs back in it. Dump some fresh gas in the tank, fill the bowl up through the vent, possibly, probably, and then uh, should be slap a battery in it, obviously, uh, before I do all that, but then she should be good to go. These four plugs out. I think I'm gonna have to shut you guys off and move you to get to this side. So you won't be seeing this side, I guess. Okay. I got the plugs pulled. Now I just gotta get a battery and hook it up. We'll crank her over so you can build some oil pressure. And also see if it's seized up. I haven't done that yet. the coil plug just to be safe I also don't know if his battery's good so we shall see it's on there phone's out of the way nothing's in the way of belts Crank it over. Cranks over, not with quite the speed I would like it to. So, I don't have a lot of battery easily accessible, don't have a jump pack. You can't get booster cables in here. So, we're going to resort to the old battery charger. We're going to have to lose our light here for a little while. I apologize. OK, 
Okay, we're gonna give us a whirl again. And uh, sorry, no light still. That's what's I'm using that extension cord for the charger. Sorry, I bumped you. I'm just gonna charge that battery up and do that a couple more times. And yeah. Okay, dokie. So I already slapped this side back together. I uh, unplugged the charger so I can use my light and we'll get this side back together. Off camera I threw... Well, I took the air cleaner lid off. I threw gas in the tank. I cranked it over, I don't know, three or four more times maybe? I honestly don't remember. And it doesn't matter. But, uh... Start slapping plugs back in this. I know. Well, I think I got off camera. I numbered all the plug wires. So. Each plug. back in the hole it came out of. Right in the same cylinder. So we shouldn't have it ran one part. As everybody says. Which I know it did I know it did because I ran it so I'm just telling you guys that it ran one part so unless something else broke we should be fine. This is a 78, for those who don't know. And I have a... On the other side of the garage... Ah, uh, that thing will probably run. But... It hasn't run in probably six years. And when it did, it was making a... Clatter, either a rocker or... Lifter or... It sounded top end to me, not bottom end, so... Fingers crossed. But, uh... You yeah, have an 86K30 over on the other side. So... I'll just put the plug wires back on. what half of this wire is for. That's a lie, I don't know what most of this call wiring is for. Alright. These are all jumbled a mess. The other side was worse, I tidied that up nicely with the one holder that was there. 
one day I'll do a video on the uh, zip tie wire holders and show you how that's done. I guess there's one thing to do. Two, let the battery charge a little more, and then uh, crank it up. Hopefully. All right, I'll bring you along when we do that. Sorry for the no light again, but uh, yeah, I forgot to turn the camera on. And uh, I didn't start it while well, I cranked it over, and uh, the battery's so shot, which is sad because that's a, I don't know, that's a, whatever. Uh, anyway, it cranked one bark, and that was it. I'm giving her some Cosby sauce, some ether. to uh, assist with the lack of battery power. And who knows if there's fuel in the bowl. I threw a little bit of gasoline down the, the throttle. It's stanky. We'll start this up again. For the record, it is as quiet as quiet can be outside on this Memorial Day weekend. What is it? Eight o'clock at night. You know, and uh, I'm willing to disturb the peace, which I believe is the slogan, coincidentally, of Cherry Bomb Glass Packs, which is what's on this. Let the charger go a few more seconds and give her a heftier spray of ether. Get something doing. My step stool. Uh, it sounds like it may have gotten fuel left to the bowl now. Or something.
I'm thinking this time we'll do it. One more time. We're getting closer. Gonna be high as a motherfucker. By the time this is done, easier and exhaust. But you know, that's perfectly acceptable. It's all part of the fun, ladies and gentlemen. Doesn't sound like it clatters anymore either. So I think it may have built back up over it. If something's good, more is better. It ran as you saw. Forgot I had this in here and it set off the carbon monoxide detector. She was chooching pretty good. Uh, it's like Cheech and Chong almost. It was that foggy in here. But uh, yeah, so it will not move with the tires that are on it currently. They're that flat and you ain't putting air in them. So. Got to figure out something to do with that, and then uh, we'll move forward. But uh, thanks for watching. Hope you liked it. I know I did. So did my sister. <clears throat> this is her Bronco. Uh, but, uh, yeah, so don't forget to like, share, subscribe for more. Uh, there will be plenty more 
of the Bronco to come in the eventual future. Uh, you can follow me on social media, both Facebook, Instagram, K30Crazy. And as I end all my videos, stay crazy. Have a good one, people.